Welcome to this next episode of YouTube where I've entitled it Yearling Energy Levels. And we certainly do see the yearlings keeping very active. Uh, we have placed some straw back in the front of the exhibit. We thought spring was happening and then we got some cold weather and snow again. So we're trying to keep the straw kind of in front of the video cam. And even though that is a temporary cam, uh, getting an image down low in front of the exhibit, uh, we, you know, we do try to maintain it and try to keep it active on a daily basis and hope to get something more permanent uh, in, the, in the upcoming weeks. But at this point, things are working fairly well. They are very active in the front, and as I said, the yearlings are an active bunch. Uh, those two, uh, Bolts and Luna, are constantly wrestling with each other and finding things and tossing them in the air and interacting and uh, grabbing each other and rolling each other over and pinning each other, and that's what yearlings do. That's the life of the exhibit, and one of the reasons why every four years we uh, adopt uh, two new pups to uh, continue to add life to the exhibit to be able to educate uh, the public about some real core behavior and particularly social behavior, which you see here. Now, Aiden was doing a kind of a four-leg stab, kind of a social greeting. So these yearlings are still trying to figure out their rank in the pack, and they're going to take an opportunity to show a little bit of dominance. Aiden likes to relax. He's going on five on April 27th. Aiden and Denali will be five. And, and we also noticed a little bit of pigmentation loss in his nose again. It's just when we thought that we were over the discoid lupus, we're seeing a little sign of that again. But... Like I say, as a five-year-old, Aiden likes to relax, uh, likes to uh, have social interactions with the staff, but they don't last very long. As soon as he rolls over in a subordinate posture, that's certainly a opportunity for the, the yearlings to come in and investigate and do a little bit of, of dominance and a little bit of asserting of rain. And Aiden t kind of takes it in stride, gets a little bit threatened um, and does a little bit of snapping, but for the most part, He's giving a pretty submissive postures and submissive four leg stabs to Luna while Bolts kind of is a little bit more timid. And you may have noticed even the last couple of months, Bolts was getting real aggressive with Aiden, and now he seems to be, again, a little bit calmer. And part of that, I think, is because he and Aiden have been spending a lot of social time interacting together, so I don't see nearly as much of that obnoxious Bolts behavior towards Aiden. So Aiden does try to retreat. He's got the two yearlings at his side. And what's interesting is that Denali, seeing that the yearlings are preoccupying Aiden's time, is going to come in and try to take advantage of him. So Bolts is going to do a typical you know, juvenile mount, and Aiden's going to try to establish a little bit of rank over Denali, but he is a little intimidated. And we're not certain what that is and whether that coincides with the pigmentation um, change um, for him if he's just not feeling well, but he's definitely not his usual in-control self. But the good thing is, when you're a higher-ranking pack member, you know where to get an advantage, and um, he goes to the top of the den where he can um, have a little bit of height over everyone and, and be in a, in a posture. And he's still social, still wagging his tail, um, but like I say, it's just not the same Aiden that we normally see, so we'll be kind of watching that and, and see if it's just a a uh, you know, momentary thing, you know, a couple of days not feeling well, or if this is a, a reoccurring trend for him. One thing for Aiden, though, um, like I say, he has been uh, very social with staff and interacting uh, pretty well and does try to use the staff as kind of a, a I wouldn't say protection, but uh, definitely as a distraction to keep uh, Luna away. So we'll be kind of watching that. And you see Luna here, like I say, a little limp. I mean, we have had nights that are back down to 19 degrees, uh, cold, uh, hard ground, hard snowpack, and that gives her a little bit discomfort, but boy, it doesn't slow her down at all. Luna and Bolts are active, especially Luna. She's engaged in just about everything. She's approaching everything. She's grabbing everything. She's interacting with everything. Um, you know, very, very, very active yearling. So we'll keep an eye on that. We think that's just, again, a return to the cold. Um, we are still using straw to keep the warm places for her to lay, but for the most part, everybody's getting along pretty well. And we've been watching these two. This is Luna and Denali. Um, they do seem to have a little bit more observed behaviors together than Luna does with, with Aiden. Obviously, Luna and Bolts have the most behavioral interactions because of their closeness and age, but I definitely want to keep an eye on uh, the relationship between Denali and Luna there. 
So again, we see Luna investigating. She's a curious pup. Oh, sorry, Yearly. She is aware of her surroundings. She's probably the most astute from the standpoint of movement. She's quick to become predatory and has a lot of really good, good skills um, that you would see certainly uh, b benefiting a uh, pre predator in the wild. So we go over to retirement and here's Grizzer with the chicken and again we um, are so grateful for the people that have donated and I know that you'll be um, hearing from us individually but again I, I, I can't thank you enough for supporting us during this roadkill drought that we had. I did pick up uh, now probably seven or eight roadkill in the last week and so we're we're getting much better but we are still kind of working on some supplemental chicken for food and Grizzer likes chicken. He certainly likes the function of carrying it around. He likes the options of caching it. Um, it's a good size for him so these are small fryer chickens that we've been buying and he really likes them. So that's uh, again one of those benefits that the caching aspect is a social benefit that comes with that carcass feeding and certainly is something that we see for Grizzer that works out pretty well. So like I said with Grizzer not too much going on as, as we always say we try to get him active and we try to you know, get some good footage that provides a little bit different behavior, but the reality is this is what Grizzer wants. Grizzer wants Wolf Care staff to, uh, to uh, do a full body massage and to interact. And so while we're filming, we have two staff people in here at the time I'm filming and then someone else is just kind of grooming them and looking for opportunities, you know, again at this age, any kind of abnormalities, you're going to go over his entire coat and look for lumps, look for any kind of, you know, uh, you know, any kind of issues, any kind of pain response, but Grizzer, like I say, his main interaction is in a social nature. I mean, this is a, a very social behavior for him. He certainly would prefer both staff to interact than to have one staff filming, and so what he does here is looks up and then kind of pause to the camera to try to get us to stop filming and interact. So then we move over to retirement. Uh, again, we're seeing a little posturing, nothing out of the ordinary. Those two are, are, are doing well and they're getting along well. And you're going to actually hear um, some howling in this. And actually, Grizzer started the howling for the first time um, in a long time. We have Grizzer stimulating the howling. Shadow, again, is very keyed in to the sounds around the exhibit. You can see him here listening, kind of focusing on something catching some kind of a scent or some kind of a of a sound. Uh, Malik goes by and Malik is, tends to be a little bit more anxious than Shadow and so Shadow tends to face things on pretty well. Um, very curious and here he comes up to the camera, get a full leg view and then he goes into a hollow response. So like I say, Grizzer started this, Shadow and Malik and the pack ended. So I'll let you listen to that and again thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Oh.